Welcome everybody to beautiful Miami and Hard Rock City, site of this year's Capital One Orange Bowl, part, of course, of the college football playoff. We've reached the semifinal stage, one last hurdle to clear before that national championship game. And today we're going to find out who's got the toughness and the depth to continue their drive to keep championship dreams alive. As we'll see the number six seed in this playoff, the Oregon Ducks, taking on the number two seed in the playoff, the Arizona State Sun Devils. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Chris Fowler, joined by Kirk Herbstreit, and here we go, a college football playoff semifinal. Which team will keep their national championship hopes alive today? First down play call, how aggressive will it be? And they'll run it out of the shotgun. Eludes a tackle. Solid run, tackled at the 45-yard line. Great job on the offensive line here, opening up. Offense facing a third and short from the 41. Can they make the first down and avoid a tricky fourth down decision? Tries to get it to the running back. From the pocket, delivers over the middle. Brought down to the 47, and that will move the sticks. Now we're starting to see this offense look like they've looked all year long. Listen, to be able to get to a playoff opportunity, your offense has got to be able to show an ability to hit throws like this on third down. They hit it, they keep the drive alive, and now they have a chance to put points on the board. Second down play coming up. The back's got it. And they try the middle, but stuck for no gain. Well, the defensive line does their job eating up those double teams, freeing up the backers to make the play. Critical third down play for this offense right here. Can he get there on the ground? They tackle him behind the line, a loss of four. Looks like a man is down on the field after the last play, so we'll take a timeout. Off the 56-yard missed field goal, the offense will set up at the 39. On first and 10, they'll look to throw it. He's got it for a big game. Brought down, but the game moves the ball all the way to the plus 42. You know, we talked this week with the offense coordinator about what makes this receiver so special. He kept referring to his route running. Here's an example of that. Great route, enough separation to give the quarterback a nice lane to throw the football. Off the play fake, looking to throw. Quick completion to the tight end. Defense reacts quickly, a very short gain on the play. And here the tight end shows off his hands for a nice game. Love to see the big man get his touches. They'll run it here. That's the running back with the ball. And the defense smothers him for no gain. Chris, textbook job by the defense surrounding the runner and preventing that play from being bounced to the outside. Not going to be easy here. Backed up a long way to go for a first down. Drops back, looking to throw for it on third down. And that pass is hauled in over the middle. Tackle to the 28. This offense threatening now. Another first down. And the Sun Devils looking to keep this drive rolling. Hand off to the single back. They try the middle, but gain nothing on that play. That back just had nowhere to go. Got to give credit to the defense and their run fits on that play. Here's the second down play. Quarterback drops back. We're going to test the secondary. Short connection to the tight end here. And he's out of bounds after gaining decent yardage. So the offense getting set. This is not where you want to be against this defense. Third and long. Dropping back. Looking to throw for the first down. It's a short completion at the tight end. He makes the stop, but not before a solid gain that time. The Sun Devils lining up here on first and ten. It's a fun battle on the road to the national championship deadline at the end of one. Let's check out the early stats so far.
We've got a good one in our hands, which we're hoping for in a playoff game as we begin the second period. So here we go, first play of the quarter. The offense has a first down. And he runs it in for the score. Touchdown, Sundays. Why, as a defensive coordinator, you've got to be careful being so worried about this pass game and this quarterback that you're a little bit soft up front, and it costs you. It's exactly what happened here as they score this touchdown. And the Arizona State offense comes back on the field. They were able to punch it in the end zone last time, looking to do the same thing here to see if the defense can make adjustments. Pulls in, complete, broken up by the defender nicely that time. So second down after the incompletion. From the shotgun, he's probing the secondary. Catch Hall in here over the middle. They bring down the receiver, but that's a nice gain in that play. The offense now looking at a third and short in their own 40, trying to keep this drive going. Quarterback looks downfield to make this throw. He wants to be able to get the ball to be able to pick up enough yards for a first down. But instead, he gets the ball at least underneath to the track route and gets some positive yards. New set of downs for the offense, first and 10. They'll hand it off. They pick up four, so second down and six coming up. That's just not a whole lot of options here for this quarterback on the RPO. The defense give him credit. They did a nice job of sniffing it out. I wouldn't be surprised if the quarterback is second-guessing that decision of giving it to the back instead of pulling that and either running it himself or maybe making a nice throw. After the incompletion, they'll face a third and six. Dropping back. They're going to throw for the first down. Intercepted, picked off by the defense. Not much on the return, but the defense comes up with a takeaway. Boy, just a drive killer right there, Chris. And he seemed to throw that ball with much confidence. Just put it up for grabs, and the defense comes down with it. Arizona State offense comes back out on the field. This offense trying to bounce back the last possession and then in a pick. Breaking free at the 35. They finally get him down, but that is a huge play. Quarterback doing it with his legs. Man, this quarterback can play the game. He can throw, and as we see here, he can run the football. The defense does everything that they need to with the pressure. They look like they're in good position to be able to come up with a nice play on him. But instead, he shows how he can slip out of the back door of this defense and pick up a nice game. That's going to be incomplete. A first down drop here in the middle of the field. Takes the handoff. It's Scatabo. Seven-yard gain sets up a third and three. I tell you, to be able to pick up a nice game like that, those offensive linemen have to sustain their blocks. Gave them a chance at a really nice game. In the third and short, they'll try to throw for it. Looks to his left and makes the completion. Heads out of bounds after a solid game. More than enough to pick up a first down. Chris, that's another positive game for this offense. The offense will set up on first and ten. Hand off to the back. And that's a solid gain for the defense able to bring it down. Chris, I just love to see this offensive line in this running game able to establish themselves. This back is already over 50 yards. We're in the first half, so really good job of establishing the run game. Opens up the play action. Opens up one-on-one -on -one opportunities. Just keep winning the battle up front. So here we go. Third down in the red zone. The kind of play that decides football games. And he'll drop back here on third down. Intercepted right near the end zone. What a play. 
And he's wrapped up after a solid return. Chris, that's back-to-back -back drives now, but this offense has thrown interceptions. They've got to be able to regroup on the sideline, adjust their schemes, maybe their personnel groupings and formations, try to find a new way to attack, because right now, this isn't working. Back comes the Arizona State offense onto the field. The last possession ended in a dreaded red zone interception. Let's see if they can bounce back from that costly error. Getting close to midfield now. They bring it down to the 47. And second down here. Time for one more play before the two-minute warning. And that's the two-minute warning now here in the first half. Empty set now. Five wide receivers. We're back looking at a pass here on second down. Makes the catch downfield. Tackle is finally made. They're an explosive game. They'll move it down to the 23 yard line. That is great arm strength and accuracy by this quarterback. And let's not forget the wide receiver's job of bringing it in for that big game. It's a screen pass complete to the running back. And they're finally able to stop him. The great execution on the screen pass fooled the defense there. Boy, another positive game for this offense. And this quarterback continues to show how dangerous he is when he has time to throw. The defensive coordinator's got to change up his looks, maybe bring in the blitz, anything they can do to get this quarterback out of this rhythm. Tackle behind the line. It's a loss of two. Chris, I think we all kind of get caught up in third down. What, what is an offense doing on third down? But I think what's also important is how well you defend first down. If you can hold your opponents to a short gain or a tackle for a loss, you throw the offense out of whack, and their game plan gets much more challenging to try to come up with that first down. And they convert here on third down in the red zone. This is a four-point type of play, touchdown or field goal. Snags the quick throw. Touchdown, ASU. Still no answer for this offensive machine. This guy can do it all. We've seen him go behind coverage and make plays downfield. We can see him catch the ball underneath, just like this. And when he catches a football, he is so dangerous after the catch. This one leads him into the end zone for the six points. And the Arizona State offense comes back on the field. First play of the second half, they keep it on the ground. They get the center to the ground, but it's a nice run there. Are well, these the type of runs that begin to wear down the defense psychologically? Already have the lead, come out with a nice big gain, and this defense is thinking, oh no, here we go again. Really nice statement here to get this second half started. Big play. Moves the ball all the way to the plus 35. The defense is spread all over the field, creating some one-on-one -on -one matchups, and the quarterback makes them pay for it. The offense really clicking against this battle defense. Great pass. The catch is made. They stop the receiver, but that's a solid gain in that play. This is an example of a quarterback and his offense just taking what the defense gives you. Not a huge play, but positive yards. The defense wants to give that throw to you. You take it, get the ball to your receiver, stay ahead of the sticks. The Sun Devils pick up the first down yards and keep the drive going. The running play gives the offense a fresh set of downs. Here comes a first down pass attempt. They make the tackle, but not before a solid gain on that pass. You know, they don't pick up the first down here, but they do get some positive yards, and I really like the route to get enough separation to give the quarterback enough room to put it in there. Play action fake, looking to throw. He'll try a pass here, and it's a comeback round. It's going to be a loss on the play, four set of bounds. Great play by the defense. And the Sun Devils will line up here on first down and goal. Here's the snap. Offense looking to throw the ball. Touchdown, Arizona State. This passing game is still on fire.
and the Arizona State offense comes back out on the field. The passing game was clicking beautifully in the last drive, right down for a touchdown. Let's see if they can do it again. One man at the backfield, and he'll get the football. Jukes to get free. Brought down, but broken tackle to produce a solid game there. Just love watching this back run. Gets behind that offensive line, lowers his pads, and it's a nice, solid game. Quarterback still with the football. The tackle is made, but there's a flag on the field. Let's see what that's about. Illegal, illegal line, line in the back. In the back. Offense. Offense. And the head coach will decide to accept the penalty and take the yardage. Second down after that previous play. Fakes the handoff here, looking to throw it. It's a bullet, but incomplete. Well, they don't make the completion here. The timing seemed to be off between the quarterback and the receiver. But, man, this defensive coordinator, he may want to consider getting more pressure on this quarterback by changing some things up. He's got a lot of time back there to throw the ball. And eventually, it's going to cost you. This line getting set up. It's a first down play. Using his legs, it's Scadabo. We've seen you able to make the stop after a short game. Now I like to run play here, and offensively at this point in the game, you want to remain in that attack mode first, while also staying in bounds and working that clock. Receiver makes the catch. He's tackled quickly, but the yardage is good enough for the first down. Because that's another nice pickup through the air. I, I thought they might be really just out to run the football here with the lead. But instead, they're electing to throw the football. Different routes, quarterbacks in rhythm. Well, it's almost an extension of their uh, passing game. <laughs> Offense goes to the pistol formation now. Looking to pass here on second down. And he dumps it off to the tight end. And the defense swarms not much of a gain on that completion. Well, that's pretty good coverage here by this defense. Not much of a window to throw this ball into, but the quarterback's accuracy and the size of the tight end picks up a nice game. Cannot connect. Incomplete and now fourth down. Hey, I understand the aggressive approach here on third down. First down here for this offense. Handoff from the shotgun. Only a small game. Now looking at second and nine. Hey, Chris, with the offense backed up this deep in their own territory, runs like this at least give you a little bit of breathing room. You've got to continue to protect the football, especially trying to hold on to this lead. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Well, with the lead here, this is where you want to just take your time. The defense, as we know, they are looking to do anything they can to create an aggressive play to try to create a turnover. So you got to work that clock, but also protect the football. I'm sure the coach right now is preaching to all his guys and reminding them about ball security at this point in the game. The Sun Devils begin a new series here, first and ten. Gives it to the back. Great cut there. Hey, you got to do what you got to do. You got to rely on that offensive line in the running game here to be able to secure a victory. Good call. and Just keep working that clock. Now it's second down here. From the shotgun, here's an inside give. He stopped, but he gets a first down. Boy, is this guy fun to watch or what? Here we are in the fourth quarter. Critical down in distances, and this guy is just churning out yards the way he has most of this game, showing a lot of physicality and natural running instincts in space. Play action here on first down. Let's fly out of the wide out, but they can't make the connection. Ball's incomplete. I think he predetermined where to go with his football. Really did give himself a chance to walk through his progressions, locked into his primary, tried to force it in there, and it doesn't work out. 
And it falls incomplete. The defensive pressure hurried to throw that time. And Chris, as you know, any more in college football, these tight ends are essentially wide receivers. They move them all over the place and try to find a good matchup. And they have one. They're just unable to complete the pass. First down play call coming up. How aggressive will it be? And, of course, they'll work the clock here, keep it on the ground. And he will be stuffed for no gain. Chris, good job here on this stop. But remember, the ball is inbounds, and the clock keeps moving here late in the game, and you're trailing. As a defense, you got to start thinking about utilizing those timeouts. you got all three to use. At one point, you're going to start putting those into play. We head now to the two-minute warning as this offense tries to bleed out the clock and secure this win. Linebackers trying to confuse this offense now. This is a big third down play coming up. If they can get the stop, we have to believe we'd see a timeout. Dropping back. We're going to throw for the first down. Picked off a crucial turnover. Look at that. He's still going. Can he take it all the way? Touchdown, Oregon. And the defense adds six with the interception return. Kirk, you look for what? You look for jitters in the opening drive. Not any sign of it for that offense. You know, the offensive coordinator when we talked with him this week, he had a feeling that this offense was going to be able to start fast. But I don't even know if he thought they would look this good this early. Back comes the Arizona State offense onto the field. They have got to bounce back on this possession after throwing a pick six last time out here. Quick throw to his receiver. A little bit too much air on that throw by the junior quarterback. Offense lines up for a second down play off the incompletion. Chris, we're all guilty of this. We all look at the big plays, the quarterbacks, the offense, how many points, how many yards. Sometimes we overlook the most important aspect of the game, the offensive line. You've got to do a good job consistently protecting the quarterback, and it all comes down to the offensive line. And here, they hurry the quarterback, and they blow up the play. Fresh set of downs for the offense. First down. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Grab down the middle. It's Scatabo. They make the tackle, but that pass creates a solid gain. He talked about a minute to play in regulation. Quarterback wants to throw it on second down. Receiver looks it in. It's complete. That'll pick up a first down. They'll spot it at the 38. A new set of downs after that completion. Looking to throw it on first down. Oh, he doesn't hang on. Looks like it was deflected before it got to him. It'll bring up second down. And he's back to throw again after that incompletion on first down. But quickly, runner scoots out of bounds after gaining decent yards. Well, when you run that out route, it's going to end up very close to the sideline. Of his awareness to realize not only keep his eyes on the football, but where he is on the field, he gets his toe down before he goes out of bounds for the catch. So their excellent season comes to an end. They stumble one step short getting into that national championship game. Always stings to lose a semifinal game. Man, what a magical year. These guys had done everything that's been asked of them. They had a great season. They had a ton of momentum coming into the night. I thought they had a great chance to win this game. They come up a little bit short, but still a great year. And that is going to wrap it up. We enjoyed this one here. For Kirk Herb Street, I'm Chris Fowler, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.